Hmm, Uzi 30 guys, let's get it. Y'all see this Chrysler Pacifica? Not sure what year, but Pacifica came out in 2017. Whoa, look like he's doing sliding door repair. Uh, totally different than the one the one I did. Here goes the latch assembly. Let's see how much different. Did they upgrade the lock actuator? Yes, this is a lock actuator. And from the looks of it, it has been upgraded. Guys, when you figure out your mistakes or the problems you had on previous model, you always go in with an up upgrade. Okay, now this is a 20 this is a Pacifica which came out in 2017. So the Grand Caravan been out a long time. So they have in essence upgraded the lock actuator. Now I have no clue what's wrong with this. I'm just pointing out that this is the latch assembly. I haven't done one of the new models yet. They're not breaking as often. Or they're not seizing up or making that weird uh, noise. But uh not sure what he's doing. He might be dealing with something with the window, guys. I don't want to touch anything. Because uh, nobody has done a bunch of these enough to know anything by heart. See what I'm saying? So, only way you get the real good hang of this stuff is if you do them constantly and, and often. I have done enough on the older model to know where every screw goes. All right, I want to see without touching anything. Yeah, it was pretty hectic under that, so I would have to be. I would hate for somebody to come over and touch anything while I'm, you know, not here or whatever, and 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 misplace something. Who'd ever drive me cuckoo, guys? All right, enough of that trim stuff. That's for you trim boys. Hey, another Pacific in the shop. Guess what it's not in for? That's right, ticket. I'm standing by my word, guys. Uh, these 3.6 Gen 3s hanging in there, guys. All right, now I know a couple guys on the channel complaining about, ah, oh, the same problems as the previous one. I had to go in one. I can only speak for me, player. I mean, and I don't even hardly see them. And this is a, a dealership, so... Like, if you're going to see that issue, you're going to see it at the dealership. These are not old enough to be in uh, Philly D's shop, you know, or Uncle Mark's garage, or this guy's garage, or even Tim at Astro Auto Repair. He's not going to drive that big old truck out to your house to work on this, simply because I'm saying I'm calling all those guys out. Uh, they know I mean well, uh, because they, uh, you know, mechanics. But, um, yeah, and plus, these are likely still under warranty, all right? Uh, you know, in the stream cases, they still under warranty. So, it'll be a while for y'all see these out in the streets or in your local neighborhood shop, guys. Uh, I don't know why it's in. All I can say is I know why it's not in. I don't see any valve train parts. Yes, Gen 3, guys. These was found. All the Pacificas, uh, the 2016 and up, Durango and Jeep Grand Cherokee, and a lot of the, they starting to implement them in everything now. Okay, this is our flagship, Chrysler's flagship V6 lineup. All right, the 316 up with that ZF9 speed front wheel drive transmission. That's, I'm not gonna say bulletproof, but I have yet to work on a transmission in the Pacifica, guys. I'm just saying, if you're looking for reliability, this may be your vehicle. They've taken what they learned from all the previous model and incorporated everything, especially the engine into this vehicle so a lot of people complain about reliability oh my goodness chrysler this christ yeah i think this won a reliability award i gotta look into that guys don't quote me on that all right moving on down hey dodge journey whoa older model dodge journey this thing got a freaking 3.5 in it love this engine guys i used to kill it this 3.5 was found in a lot of models guys i have a 3.5 in my 2004 pacifica now i'm saying pacifica because that name that pacifica is different from my older body style pacifica all right so yes it's not the same but take care of your timing belt this engine will last 100,000 miles do your timing belt and water pump this engine will last uh, a long time guys let's go on down here hey another it's a grand cherokee it has to be a 16 and up right because i just got through saying all grand cherokees 2016 and up would be equipped with the gen 3 you know it's gen 3 because there's an egr cooler guys um pentastar 3.6 gen 3 with the upgraded valve train setup all right i again i hate repeating this but i have yet to go into one so 
until I do, I can't speak on the internals. All right. Now, moving on down. Whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. What is going on? This is an older Model 300. Oh, I heard some horror stories on this one, guys. They let this car uh, overheat real bad. Just kept going. Okay. Yeah, he got this out fairly quick. I remember when he drove this in. Yeah, this car really, 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 really overheated. Okay. Guys, these aluminum heads, no sense in trying to send these heads out to get fixed. No sense in playing these games, wasting time. Okay, the bottom line, when you, oh, y'all can't smell that. It has that overheating aroma to it. Look at this. All right, and you can't see where it's overheated, but, oh my goodness, guys. Uh, y'all know the Hemi is equipped with a uh, oil pressure switch and oil temperature switch. That's how they can calculate and snitch on you as far as what weight the oil is. Most Hemi's, uh, this body style require 520 if it's MDS equipped. And it can tell if your weight of oil is incorrect. You might get a code 521 or something like that stating that incorrect oil has been used. Look at that. Teamed up with a, is that a NAG? Yes, NAG 1 transmission. Where is the new? Hey, here it is over here, guys. I knew it was around here somewhere. Long block. We don't play those games. We go in with long blocks. Look at that beauty right there. Okay. Look at that. MDS solenoids but no oil control valve okay what does that mean that's it uh, you guessed it all right uh, now because this is a, <laughs> this is a different gen gen hemi all right so a lot of things hadn't been implemented into this version yet but they going in with a long block long block you still have some work to do guys i mean you have to transfer to naturally the valve covers you don't see any valve covers on there that's what i talked about last time you get like a Jasper engine, you might get a damn complete engine. Of course, no intake, but I'm talking oil pan, valve covers, front timing cover. See, right now he got to transfer uh, all of this stuff. He got to clean all this up and transfer it to the new engine. Yeah, we got the oil pan clean out, guys. Try to get, if you're going to reuse that oil pan, get it as clean as possible, even the timing chain cover. But... Yeah, this guy must really look. It look like a phantom until a phantom pull up. This guy really must really love this car because that is some money, guy. That uh, I hate to speculate what that long block costs, but it's a beauty. Yeah, Whew, I wish you guys can smell this. It has that once badly overheated aroma to it, and those are the kinds you don't gamble with. You don't take no chance. If I go hover over a car and I smell this. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. No sense in wasting time. No sense in taking heads off, sending them out. Because everything at this point is a gamble, guys. I'm talking everything. So you don't want to play them games at all. All right. So uh, we almost at the end, guys. In fact, we are at the end. I just wanted to. A lot of guys always tell me, hey, come on, man. Give me some more nosy 30. Some more nosy 30. Y'all some nosy rascals out there. <laughs> I'm joking. I am too. I like to uh, dig in the head. See, tomorrow when he get here, I might dig in his head and find out. Um, or I might give him a hand and put it in. Notice the hood is still on him. So he had enough clearance to uh, uh, jack it up, jack it out with the hood still attached. It depends on how the car is designed, guys. You don't have to take the hood off everything. But, yeah, I guess you're going to inspect them mounts if they uh, good. Reuse them. If not, another thing. What is going down here in my neck of the wood? 